What's going on YouTube? So today, something a little different. <laughs> I'm not too carb savvy. I'm the new age fuel injection guy, but my dad on the other hand knows carburetors very well. So he said he's gonna come over and help me pull his carb apart and look at it. So laugh now guys, because I don't know what I'm looking at in a carburetor, but um, you give me a laptop and fuel injectors, I can handle that. But so my dad's gonna come over, we're gonna rip this carburetor apart. We're gonna look inside, see this needle and seat he's talking about. Um, I'm gonna put the new petcock on myself. It doesn't look too hard. And then uh, new petcock, new rebuild kit. We got this little uh, rebuild kit with all the needles and jets and everything. It even comes with a gasket. So uh, we'll throw this guy in and show you guys how to redo the carb on Kawasaki Bike. Mm -hmm. We got this guy out. Uh, I don't know what this thing is, but apparently it brings air and fuel into the motor somehow. I don't know how it works. But anyways, uh, I had to undo the throttle. It looks like the, it doesn't really have a butterfly. It has a massive like plunger that goes down in here. That's the throttle. And then that guy there is the choke, which just opens up a little airport to give it a little bit of air and maybe extra fuel, I'm not sure. That's our idle, which I'm assuming just throws more fuel in there. See the needle. And then uh, I guess this is the bowl down here, which all the fuel goes. So I'm not even gonna bother taking it apart until uh, my pops gets here. He knows what he's looking at. And I don't wanna take this thing apart and lose something or whatever. So uh, we'll get this apart and uh, we'll see what the needles and everything look like. We also have another problem. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that is a very massive blown out crack on our brand new downpipe. So um, I was kind of afraid of this. We don't have any support on this big four inch. It goes all the way from there, goes down and up and there's no support. And I was kind of afraid that I might crack some welds and uh, Bailey and Keith didn't think it would crack, but this sucker vibrates when it's hitting 9,000 RPM. So we're gonna make some type of bracket to come over and hold. We're just gonna weld a little bracket on the pipe and we're gonna hold it together with a little rubber um, kind of flex deal so that way it still can move, but uh, it's being supported by the weight here and it's not all on there. So I gotta take the pipe off, send it over to Keith. He's gonna weld it up for me, weld a new tab and we should be back in business. So not good, cracked all the way around the end there all the way down through here. And then actually it started to crack a little bit right in there. So it's all where the bend joints and all the weight is on this thing. So what I ended up doing was making a clamp bracket. So this guy is now holding that guy on, the clamp bracket bolted here. I'm gonna get a rubber guy here so that way this is a little bit more flexible. Um, it is aluminum with a clamp. I think it'd probably be okay. I mean, the exhaust can move a little bit, but that's gonna hold this whole system much better. I should have done this to begin with. Uh, they didn't think it was gonna crack, but I've dealt with this before with the Hondas and a lot of vibration and vibration kills welds. So, um, yep. We gotta get over to Keith's and we'll get her welded up. All right, so we got back from Keith's and we're all welded back up. So cracks welded up. Big shout out to Keith. Also that crack there. So did the best we could. Uh, 
Now I got a hanger, so the hanger should help relieve a lot of that pressure. So we've got our carbons rebuilt. We're gonna test the idle and fuel idle. Yeah, um, something all right guys so it's uh, a couple days later and Bayou's running pretty good but we did have a problem so we had to go out and buy this choke kit because our little plastic guy in here it broke off when uh, me and dad were uh, in, were adjusting it and it's just plastic and I didn't realize it was plastic and I probably over tightened that a little bit um, what we actually did though, is we actually super glued it on and somehow it stayed on. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and put the new piece on because super glue is probably not gonna last that long. All right, so as you can see, our super glue held really well. I'm shocked. So this actually, this piece sheared right off and uh, our super glue held, but I don't really trust that. I got this little kit and knowing that there's a kit out there, I guess it happens quite often, but it gets everything new. It's got a new O-ring for, uh, for the choke holder here. So we'll go ahead and stick that on quick. And I'm not gonna over tighten this one. It does come with a new little plunger. Looks identical. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. And it's even got a new spring. Let me see. Uh, so the new spring is a lot stiffer. Or is this the old spring? 
Maybe this is a new spring. I don't know which one's new and old. I'm gonna use this one though, it's a little bit softer. So, we'll get all of our new stuff and we'll throw her on. All right, so what I actually did was, what one thing that was annoying about the choke on these is that you have to hold it for it to warm up. Well, I took the spring out and now I can just put it where I want it. So I can turn it on, take the choke on. with the choke without having to hold it. I have to sit here and hold the choke the whole time while I'm warmed up. And you just turn the choke off. Much better. So I like that better. And the reason I did it was because the dang spring was so hard to get on. I was like, well, what if we just leave the spring off? So. She's back in business. So our little uh, pit quad is ready to go. As you guys can see, I got a little seat back here, which is pretty nice for a passenger can sit back here. Um, we got a little storage compartment back here. We do have a tow thing in case anything ever happens. We got to tow, tow the car back or something. And we got a nice rack up front, some headlights. So yeah, cool little pit quad. So you'll be seeing this in certain videos riding around. It saves us a lot of uh, leg walking around and it, it, it saves you a ton you get really tired walking up and down the pits and to the start line and it's also nice to be able to carry stuff on the racks and carry some people if you need some help so that but that'll do it guys the carburetor is fixed up we got our new choke guy on of course we don't have the spring on i'll probably keep the spring around just in case but uh I kind of like it without the spring. I like to just have to set the choke and not worry about it. So, all right guys, well, that's gonna do it. So, we are ready to go. Uh, we got our pit quad ready, and I know it's not about the, the S2000, but I wanted to get a little bit of video of the Kawasaki. I want to video everything that has to do with the racing. Uh, so, what we do each day, what it takes to, you know, compete, what it takes to keep your pit stuff going, parts, all that stuff. Other thing, we're going to be getting uh, going down and getting my new radiator here soon from Jason Schmuck. He went ahead and got a really nice shroud on it. So um, we're going to be getting that. Close my garage. A little chilly out there. Got the uh, heater going. We're going to go down. Jason's picking up a new radiator. We got a nice CSF radiator coming with a big old 14 inch fan. Hoping that keeps me cool through the street cruises this summer when it's 95 degrees out. So um, we're going to be going down there and picking that girl up probably putting her in we might put it in we might not i got a race tomorrow at capital raceway so i may not mess with it because i don't want to run into an issue and then you know can't race so if you guys are uh, no capital raceway if you guys are in the area please come out say what's up might be a little chilly but the weather is looking good for race day so we'll be on radials racing the street class comment like and subscribe guys i appreciate the support t-shirts are coming i promise you they'll be here very soon catch you guys later see you.